Oddity number two, the sort oddity. Unlike previous versions of MS Project, where you selected sort, it happened, and it was done. In Project 2010, sort is actually always running, or actually it's always on. To make this even more aggravating, it only kicks in when certain commands are executed. And usually, you don't notice this is how it works, because the default sort order is on the row number. So when it kicks in, now, you don't see it. Huh? Well, let me explain. When you do certain commands like press undo, the sort kicks in. If you've not been paying attention, you can have things like tasks you just entered suddenly disappear. Let's do an example. Let me bring up project. Let me go with a blank schedule. Here, I'm just going to put in some simple tasks. Alright, my simple tasks are going to be select colors, pick up supplies, set up room, paint room. And I'm creating a simple schedule. So I'm just going to drop in my durations. One day, one day, two days, three days. And I'm going to put in my start dates. I'm not even going to use links. Go with 10, 10 1 for the first start date. 10 2 for the next one. I don't want any links. 10 4 for the next one. And then I'm going to go 10-8, October 8th, for the last task. No, I don't want any links. Come on, project. And I'll pull the bar over. So you can see some of the Gantt bars. Nothing special here. And now with this list in place, I'm going to sort by the finish date. And now I go to the sort option, which is on the view tab. Click sort. I'm going to sort by the finish date. And there we go. Just as I suspected, everything's in nice order. I'm going to throw in a couple of reminder tasks just for me, the project manager. I need to call the painter. I need to call the uh, customer. And I need to call the um, cleaners. And I'm thinking, ah, let me insert a... Uh, insert a summary task here because I want to put a finish milestone in on the end. So on the task ribbon tab there's a insert group and I can click on summary and look what happened. All of a sudden those call tasks jumped to the top of the schedule. Totally unexpected. Now why to do this? It's because the sort is always running. It's always on. And you'll have tasks jump all over the place on you if you aren't careful. So uh, in doing clicking undo won't necessarily fix it. For example, if I'd have done this, well, here you can tell. I just did the undo, and these guys are still up in the top. And look at the ID numbers. The uh, schedule's been sorted by the finish date. So again, the sort is always running. And the only way to fix it is to go back to the View tab and turn your sort back to ID. Very frustrating. Just remember it happens. So the problem here is you've got to be careful with the sort. It's always on. Certain commands, such as undo, hiding a column, clicking on the insert summary task, which actually is what, what's activating is anytime you click indent, it will actually activate the filter or the sort. So you've got to watch those things again in Project 2010. Now you may be thinking that you can beat some of this uh, sort problem by being in compatibility mode. Take a look at my title bar. I was in compatibility mode. It still resorted it on the fly. So unlike previous versions of Project where the sort only happened when you told it to, with this new database engine under the hood, if you insert a summary task, which actually causes an indent to happen, it turns on the sort or the filter. If you click undo, it turns on the sort or the filter. And if you hide a column, it's going to turn on the sort or the filter. There's other things that will trigger it, but those are the most common. So you have to watch it. So when you turn on a sort, you need to be thinking about if you want to use the renumbering option, which is going to be in the dialog box for sorts. If that's what you need to do, make sure that after you do the sort, you go back and return the sort to sort by ID. 
otherwise you're going to th have things jumping around all over the place. The good thing is, is you'll catch that because your row numbers will be out of, out of order. Okay, that's a tough one. Well, the problem there is, that's a lot to remember. I hate it. You have to be really sharp to catch these. And usually it's too late when you realize what has gone on. And hopefully at that point you won't have a mess to unscramble. So if there's a uh, oddity in Project 2010, it's what you just saw here. The fact that the sword and the f is always on and then the filter is always on too. And so be very careful with the sword feature. It'll burn you. And just remember to follow the tips here. All right, now's the time to move on to the last oddity, oddity number one in Project 2010.